See it right there. See that? See that right there? That, that's, that's all bay right there. So let's see if we can't catch some of it. Let's see if I got any. Oh yeah, I got one. I hope going better than none. See right there. What we're trying to catch. Right, right there. Now this net right here I'm throwing. It's a seven foot cast net. And it's a cheap one. See that seven foot. It's got three eight inch mash on it. I think I see some bait right here. Right on them. Let's see what we got. There he is. There he is. Oh my gosh. This is a big one. Uh oh. Look at that boy. Oh lord. Now this is a big one here. Uh oh. <laughs> Today, folks, I'm out here on the Tennessee River Bull. <laughs> and these big, these big, these big fish are biting. Oh lord of mercy. We got a big one on right here. I don't know how big he is. I know one thing. He's pulled. Oh my gosh, what is it? Oh, it's a big, big, big one. He's a good one. Oh Lord, is that a big hybrid or salt water? Oh my gosh. I know one thing. I'm gonna have to get the net on this one. I'm up here by myself. It's hard to handle these big fish. Especially the way I'm fishing them right now. This might be a bit of salt water. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I got him. It is a salt water. Oh good and I'll tell you what, I just got him. Oh Lord, and they biting like crazy. Whew, Lord of mercy. Folks, <laughs> I just got up here and uh, I ain't made for three throws. I had a fish on all three of them. Boy, we got me some big old bait. We're gonna catch some fish today, I guarantee you that. We're gonna have fun. I want y'all to look at that, boy. That's a nice in there. They in here a lot bigger than that. I'm just after a great big fish. I don't want to stretch a string, pull your pole, I mean, all that good stuff. Oh Lord. Right now I'm spot locked with my oil tracks up here. Just sitting here in these current. So I got my thumb right here on the spool. Just kind of letting a little bit of line out. Now this is one way of fishing for them. The other way is just drifting. I'm up here by myself today. And really, these big fish like this, are really hard to handle by yourself. I mean, really you need somebody with you, but I couldn't get nobody to come with me today. So none of my fishing buddies. So I'm just up here by myself. Now I got, this current's real strong today, as you can tell. I got these turbines going. And uh, so I like to get mine down there pretty close to the bottom. So I got four little split shots on. And I don't have any <laughs> big sinkers with me today, so I just put four of these on. Now this bait we're using right here, these are big thread fin shad. Yellowtails what I call them. Most people call them down here yellow tail manners because I'll show you why. See, they got kind of a yellowish tail on them right there. And I'm just hooking them right up through both lips. That way they'll stay on there real good. And I'm just going right here on the edge of these bowls. Just letting them go down. Let's see what happens here. A lot of fish up in here feeding right now. Big fish. We are sitting in basically 16 foot of water and the water temperature is 64 degrees right there. I've been waiting on a day like this right here. This overcast, cloudy, rainy kind of days like this is the ultimate day. Catching these big fish like this right here on the river right here. 
Oh, I think one just, I think one just hit it. Could be, oh, you see in my pole go down. Now that could be the manor doing that. That's a big manor. But I kind of doubt it. When one hits it and lets it go, just kind of pick up on your rod and like you're going to take it away from them. That really, that really, they don't like, they don't like to think they ain't going to get it. There he is. So you don't ever know how big it's going to be. And I got it. Uh oh. Oh gosh. Look at that. Look at that pole, Ben. He got up under the boat on me. Oh Lord. Got to get him out of that boat. Which might not be easy. I don't know how big this one is. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, he come off. Oh my gosh. Did y'all see that? Oh, that was a giant. I didn't think he was that big at first. I just couldn't do nothing with him. One thing you don't want to do is let them fish get up under this boat. And big fish get over on the other side of the boat, you can't do nothing with them. That's about a bigger minute right there as you're gonna catch, period. Hey, no, if they go one down there, there ain't no way he's gonna turn that big juice in there. Mm-mm, dude. God, I can't believe that and just got off. I just wonder the reason I kind of walk to the back of the boat after I catch one. I can get him around the back of the boat back there after I, you know, set the hook on one. That's a big old fish just then it got off. They're so strong in this current. Now one of the big reasons, the good things about using this big bait like this compared to this little bait like that is that little bait you'll catch a lot of small fish on it like uh, white bass and that type of thing and uh, so this big bait right here kind of eliminates that it takes a pretty good fish to eat one of these big minners there's a dude over there with a pole looks like a 12 foot long never seen such a pole Fishing off the bank over there. Now, these uh, boats I'm using today are these little laser sharp Eagle Claw one out hooks. And uh, I'm tying this uh, Polymar knot on there. What it does, it doubles up in the loop in the in the eye of the hook see how it's doubled right there so you get double the strength since i started using this knot i hardly ever get broke off at the knot and it's real easy to tie just like that right there see that boy oh, Lord. i'm just sitting here right now with this old trex trolling motor right here it's got it set on the spot lock see right there all you do is set a little thing right there boy got a little uh anchor on it you hit that button right there and it just sets you here so that's what I'm doing right now, just sitting here. There he is, he's, he's hitting on it right now. So I'm gonna give him a little bit of line. He may be on it. Oh, you've got this one. Uh-oh. This is a big one here. Oh my gosh. I bet. Big old hybrids. Whoa. Lord. It's a nice hybrid right there. I think I'm going to take some of these home to eat. Sure am. In a and today I'm fishing with my bait casting reel. This uh I'll show it to you here. This this rod, well let me show you about my rod first here. This rod right here, it's a it's a ducket. And uh if you don't know I fish with a lot of ducket rods. I mean there there's a medium heavy and it's this near seven foot bait casting rod and this reel right here is a loose reel. 
and I've got 17 pound test line on here and uh, gotta make sure you drag set really good when you when you when you're getting these kind of fish right here um, you don't want it real loose but you don't want it real tight neither kind of in between there he is oh that made it good uh oh oh my gosh what am I? that's a good one right here I don't know if that's a hybrid or a saltwater tribe. That's a saltwater tribe there. Not a real big one, but a good one. I'll have to net him. Boy, these things are cool like crazy. <laughs> they don't want to give it up. Look at that right there. Oh, Lord, they don't want to. Hard to do it by yourself. There we go. I got him. Oh, that's a good solid chunky fish right there, boy. Oh, Lord. It's on up here today. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's on. That's probably an eight or nine pound fish right there. Tell you what, let's weigh this one right here. I got my scales back here. Let's just weigh this one. Got me some new scales here, some hard to see. Right here. And uh, I'm just curious. I see rolling right there. See right there. I like these because they can hook them up real quick. See they you just, just put them in their mouth, drop them like that. Let's see what he weighs. Sitting there is about right at nine pounds. Well, yeah, it's right at nine pounds. So anyway, that's a that's a nice fish. Fun fish to catch. Hey, don't get no fun in that right there. Alright, let's catch it. Now I'm fishing out of this extreme bait tank right here. You know I live bait, of course. You know, if you watch my channel, you know I'm all about the live bait fishing, okay? Because I love to catch fish. That's just all this to it. The live bait will catch fish and catch big fish. So I got one of these extreme bait tanks right here. To keep my minnows lively, because the livelier the minnow, the more fish and the bigger fish you're gonna catch. I mean, it's just no doubt about it. I oh, forgot to check my line to see if I had any a bad places in it. Lord, if I get a big one on right now, I'll probably get broke off. There he is. Uh oh. What is it? I can see it down in there. Oh my gosh, you're pulling. Oh, looky here, what a big old hybrid. Uh, yeah. Boy, that's some fun fish. Come on, fish. Hard to do by yourself. Okay, I got him in the net. Sure did. Oh, that's a lot of fun to do this. I'm telling you right now. Look at here. That show is a lot of fun. Look at that. Nice. Hyper striped. I'm gonna turn them like 